allotted remains to be seen how an equal number of Spartans will fare. So, before the shooting starts, we're going to get you up to speed with the latest equipment and battlefield tactics. Joining me today is a uh, Wart, played by the lovely and talented Harold Ryan. As you can see, Wart has a Covenant Energy Sword. It's a melee weapon primarily. You can also see that his armor is every bit as customizable and good looking as the Spartans. So, we'll talk to Wart later, but right now we're going to show you some of the new features in Halo 2. First up, dual wielding. You've probably heard about this. Walk up to a second weapon that you like. You can see the Master Chief now has feet and legs too. Press and hold Y to dual wield the second weapon. Pick it up in your left hand. So, now I have two weapons. Left trigger fires the left weapon, right trigger the right. But if you unleash them both at once, it's a quick and dirty end to war. And as you can see, the needler causes more than a diaper rash this time. So, war has very conveniently left me his energy sword, and I'm gonna pick that up, and I think I'm gonna use it for later. Right now, Ward's gonna show us some vehicle upgrades. Here's the trusty old ghost. The old ghost, you'll remember from the first game. It's had a few graphical upgrades. You can see the cool new uh, grab lifter effect. It's kicking up dust off the beach. You can see that it looks better than it did. Fire is the same way it always did with the right trigger, but now if you press and hold the left trigger, you will boost away at twice the speed it used to go. This is great for getting out of trouble in all sorts of situations, but there are some disadvantages. When you're boosting, you can't fire, and you can't steer as well. But that's good for one thing. It prevents this from happening, boarding. Get close to a stationary or slow moving vehicle, press and hold X, and you take it. You can board from the rear, or as Ward's gonna demonstrate, board from the front. It's really easy to do, but you do have to think about it. So, we've also incorporated another upgrade to the vehicles. Vehicle damage. Boosts off a few shots from the battle rifle here, and it takes pretty significant damage. The thing about the Ghost is that when it explodes, it explodes pretty hard. And if you see it vibrating like that, that means it's gone critical. You do not want to be near a critical ghost. You probably noticed that that explosion blew the hubcaps off the warthog. It too takes pretty, pretty specific damage. Ward's going to show off this Rocket Hog's new feature, which is of course a rocket launcher. If he shoots over here, you'll see some of our interactive environments. Everything has cool physics. Covenant hate tires. They hate tires with a vengeance. If he shoots over my head, you'll get to hear some of our cool new positional digital sound. There's actually an awful lot more sound effects in the multiplayer game this time around. There's ambient noise and everything makes some kind of horrible noise. But I can't, I can't deal with a warhog with just the battle rifle, so I'm going to pick up a good old rocket launcher. You remember this? Quick one in the grill for Ward. Shows off that it's just as tough as ever. But if Ward takes off up the beach, showing off uh, another new cool new feature, which is the horn. Right trigger for that, that's all it does. It just irritates people. So, I can show you a new feature in the rocket launcher. If I zoom, you see my reticule turns red if I track a moving vehicle, which means I have missile lock. We now have tracking missiles. It's really horrible hearing that whoosh behind you when you think you already got away. Ward is mad as all get out because I've smashed up his ride and he's probably gonna try and avenge his, uh, his busted ride. But, luckily for me, he can't drive, and so I completely take out his vehicle. Now you have to be careful, because there's still a round in that chamber, so don't get too close, or like the ghost, it can take you out. But Ward did something cool earlier, he gave me a present, and I'm gonna show you how that works. B button, as ever, is a melee attack. But if I get close enough to Ward, you'll see my reticule turn red. That means I have a lock with the Covenant Energy Sword. So if I hit the right trigger knob, Ward is like super dead. His whole family was killed just then. <laughs> so that's enough of that stuff. We're gonna uh, tell you a little bit about the game you're gonna play now. It's gonna be single flag CTF. It's turn based. Uh, run switch after three minutes, or if you if you successfully kept.